How you doing? So the Smorpheus need to be awakened. So a few YouTubers saying that Morbius does not need to be awakened. Oh, some of them are from CCP beta, so they work for Kabam. So they're trying to sell you the seven star. So their answer is going to be biased. So let's just see from Seaton video, does Morbius need to be awakened? So let's take a look at it. So we should, even from the start of this fight, we should be taking passive damage. But we're not, because we're absolutely chilling here. And then we can like fire this off, do like a, a 300k bite, and uh, it's GG. So yeah, that, that boss, it can be sometimes a little bit uh, trickier if you don't have a perfect Icarus option. But I was just I was so surprised, because I did like a testing run there before this. And I was like, I just did, I, I kind of expected him to get clapped by like a Mega Red. So if you can get through that fight, I'm just curious, like, what else is going to pop up in terms of additional matchups? So, does Morbius need to be awakened? From that video, <laughs> it's a pretty, pretty obvious answer, right? He does. So, to me, it's just silly when, you know, these YouTubers, you know, either obviously they have no clue or obviously they're just trying to sell you the seven star because they work for CCP from Kabam so it's just silly without his awakening ability Morbius would not be able to do this fight okay from his undying ability to his signature ability okay so it's just so really just kind of like what is with these people I mean it's just so silly you know Without his awakening ability, really, from his signature ability, Morbius, he's nowhere, no way going to be the best science champion in the game without synergies, okay? Without synergy, from his signature ability, he could be the best science champion in the game. And this is the reason why, from his signature ability. So when, you know, YouTubers are trying to tell you that does Morbius need to be awakened? Yes, of course he does. It's like saying, does Hercules need to be awakened? It's just really silly. That's just a really silly question, you know? You know, f for quests, which is the most important thing in the game for the average player, for most players, and for me as a fan watching the game, I think it's going to be great for incursions. He's going to be able to do more fights in incursion, obviously. You know, lately incursions kind of been boring. But usually when it comes to incursion, I usually skip to like zone 8 when they got all the rare hacks. And Morbius is going to be able to do a lot of fights in incursions. You know, when I mention incursions, getting a little bit boring. Yeah, I know. But the only thing, uh, I wish they just gave better rewards or not better rewards, but rewards past zone 25 where it's really challenging. You know, that's where challenge starts to to be when in, in incursions, you know, past zone 25 in incursions. And even just zone 20, you could see when, you know, like the best players in the world, you know, using the best champions in the game, like her for incursions or in the game in general, like Hercules getting knocked out, you know, it just shows you like, yeah, this is worth watching, you know. You're not going to see like a solo every fight, which is boring. So be able to solo every fight is boring. That's why I like incursions because you actually see like really hard content when you can see even Hercules getting knocked out in zone 20, you know, and past zone 20. That's why I like incursion. And when it comes to Morbius, it's going to be great for incursion when it comes to his undying ability. So, yeah, so with 100%, Morbius needs to be awakened. Does he need to be awakened for all contents? No. But in places where it's more, most important for the average player as well as for you know as well as incursions you know which I really like the most he definitely needs to be awakened thank you